All right. I think we are good to go. But let me just double check. Uh, not quite. There we go. All right, let's get started. Oh, I know, I have an, I have an old name of the day. Oh, I am not prepared. We'll do... Barnabas. All right, let's get it started. Good morning, good afternoon. And good evening. The name of the day is Barnabas. You can also call me Nate. You can call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. And welcome back to Monster Train, The Last Divinity, where we are going to uh, try, try a seed that was posted onto the Discord by Gabriel. <laughs> um... That apparently is quite difficult. So let me just see. Oh man, there's several good seeds. But let me just grab this one. So we have... Massive Airports Massive Nursing. Let's do it. Let's do it. And see how it goes. Okay, so Hart and uh, Sato were able to get it, so that's kind of reassuring. Although Hart does like crazy builds that like I don't know, he he just he finds ways to make things work. Um, and Sato's obviously also very good. So let's see, we'll see how it goes. It is Umbra with Primordium. And torch. All right, let's try it. Okay, so we have Seraph the Diligent. That's always tough with Umbra builds. And then we have Antumbra Assault, Hidden Passage, and Cave In. So overstacking could be a thing. Although overstacking doesn't typically work super great with Primordium. But there could be ways. Hmm. Oh, commemorative spike or concussive coals. Commemorative spike is kind of a tough one because Yeah, I don't think we can take it. I it's pretty good, but then during divinity it's like really bad. So, I'm going to try probably avoid that. Um stalwart or aggressive edible. Probably stalwart snack. Maybe into a pivot into uh Maybe we pivot from there. Where are, how are our settings by the way? Okay, we're good. Maybe we pivot into um the superfood later on. Hmm. Anyway. Uh do we take divine boons here? I think so. I think we need it for the uh, for the fight here. Oh, armor. I'm not gonna take the armor. I think taking the armor is too dangerous. We need them to have one health so we can plink them. I'm actually fine playing bottom floor. I mean, let's leave it like this. We just need a train steward. Love to see it. Torch. Get you guys in there. This is all fine. We're going to play you. Play you. I think it's damage. Play that. And then just 
hit, hit. And we might even just be fine right now. Let's see. We are not fine. But we haven't killed the thing yet. If we kill the thing, we're probably doing a bit better. My question is, do we... If I torch you, you're only getting to 60. One, two, three, four. I think we do like that, take two damage. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill this guy. We're doing another 42. Dang, okay, so we're going to take three hits for 18. Wow, rough. I guess a progressive edible would have been better, but... Um, I'm going to take pack morsels. Mostly because it also consumes already. I'm not going to go with imps. Vent is really good, though. We need, we need some form of AoE. So let's go right path. See what we get here. Multi-strike already is pretty good. Oh... That's interesting. I'm going to take... I'm going to take Demon Fiend. And we're going to have to just live with it until we can play it, unfortunately. How's Monster Train going? Right now, kind of rough. We need, uh, we need to get Ember, desperately. Spikes. We're not going to do spikes here. We're going to play very conservatively. Do that. Let's get uh, you guys out. And then just hit you with one of these. Mm -hmm. We can go... One... Two. Okay, we can go another one. Fourteen. Get him down to one hit. Okay. Pack morsels is okay. Let's get damage up here. We can go and Tumbra Assault. And Hidden Passage. Get you guys in there. You guys in here. Wow. I don't, I mean, we're not going to be able to kill the boss right away, but. Hopefully we can kill him on the top floor. Like, that's the only thing I'm concerned about. Yeah, we don't have a ton of health or damage. This is a problem. We might just be dead here. We are just dead here. Yeah, I think we needed to take Alpha Fiend. Or Aggressive Edible. Dang. Dang. Now we just got completely blown out here. Crazy. Would Alpha Fiend have made the difference? This is what I don't know. Like I didn't take either trial and we just completely got wrecked. Okay, well let's a well I mean we'll finish it off. We'll lose. Yeah, Star Wars snack without any type of gorge units is just really bad. We'll try it again. I'm gonna try it again, but this time we're gonna do it with uh, aggressive edible instead. Take concussive coals. Take aggressive edible. Take the money, and we're gonna play everything else the same. Just switch the uh, thing there. Still won't take this trial. I don't think we can afford to take that trial. I think it's too scary. Okay. 
right? Play you out. And... Torch. Like that. And I think it's going to be defense is what we need. And then we can play you with all the stuff. Okay. I mean, this is already looking a lot better. Yeah, definitely F. But it's fine. This guy would do an extra 5. That puts it to 31. If I had enough Ember, I could do all of it, but I, I can't. So we're just going to go like this into probably you. An extra hit. We take two damage, but we should be able to kill this guy. We're going to be able to get three hits on him. That's enough. Yeah, he's dead. Cool. Uh, we'll still take pack morsels. We'll still take vent. Okay. Let's go right path. We're still gonna... Well, I guess we have to switch now. We take the Alpha Fiend. I really think Demon Fiend is just better. I'm gonna try it. I don't know if it's... I don't know if it'll work. There's my dead body waiting for me. Um, what we really just need is uh, to survive this one fight and then we're then we're in a good spot. So we go plink. Torch. Like that. Okay. One. Two. Okay. Oh, we could actually kill this guy. Okay. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's really good. That by itself might have actually just done it. that for Ember. If by some miracle we get Demon Fiend, which we didn't, I could sack this guy to get Morsels, which is actually really good. Then we play you out, do a little extra damage, and I think we're fine. He's going to heal. Yeah, we're killing him. Look at that. Not bad. Not bad. Prismal Dust is pretty good. Mind Collapse is pretty good. I think I'm going to take Prismal Dust because it's another Consume spell. I don't love any of this. We'll, we'll keep going. Okay, so now we go left path. Start with the Divine Horde. Okay. Okay. I can do Pyre Stone Housing. Steelworker's great. Yeah, we take Steelworker. That can be our uh, dude this turn. Let's make... Um, let's make Plink consume. Let's go minus one onto... Maybe on Tumbra Assault. Don't really love double stack here. Let's just get a plus 10 on the vent. We may try to get piercing on that later as well. And I kind of think we make cave-in cheaper. Cave-in can be useful. Like in certain builds, it's really strong. Oh, that's interesting. 
It's pretty early. We could go for Petty Theft. I think we're early enough that Petty Theft is, is quite good. Let's see how it goes. Okay. So. We can't play you yet. We can go... Hmm. We can't kill them at all. Yet. And then we chill. Okay, Steelworker is going to be our dude. Please? No dice. Are you dazed? Push the attacker back. Okay. Okay, um... Bop, bop, bop. Just thinking. I think I'm gonna do this. And this. And then just put these guys somewhere here. Okay. Okay. Uh, I think I gotta prep this. Oh wait, big plank. One, two. Okay. Um... This is a really terrible cave-in. I do want to kill that guy. I'm going to start doing this, though. I'm going to just get this up. Out of the way. We're going to take some damage. I don't think we're going to kill, though. This is the problem. Do that. I mean, that does help a bit. And then... Now he dies. Do that. Okay. I'm just going to eat this all the way up. Take four damage. I don't think we're winning. I think we don't have enough HP. Guy's doing nine. Yeah, we're, we're just dead. Ah, Brutal. I think we needed to take the Alpha Fiend. Wow, what a rough seed. We'll go one more time. And we'll just, again, we're going to do the same exact picks. We're just going to pick Alpha Fiend. It's gotten better every time. Like, every time we've gotten a little bit further, but... It's a tough seed. And I think we have to take Alpha Fiend, and we have to go with uh, two um, two upgrades. Man, I am dropping frames like crazy. I apologize. My parents' internet is not so great. Alright, let's go Plink. Plink, Hidden Passage. Okay. We can go... You here, you two here. Yeah. Get you in here. Let's pop... Probably you. To get this and this. 
And I think we should be able to kill... Yeah, we're killing him. Get you in there. And this looks completely fine. Like, we're actually... Somehow we did even better than before. I'm pretty sure this guy's killing. Oh, he's not. We're down to... Three hits, 18. Fair enough. Still take pack morsels. Still take vent. Gonna go right path. Gonna take the alpha theme. Gonna take multi strike. And then we just chill. I, I mean, it's better. It's just. I was really hoping that we wouldn't have to take it, but. It's fine. So we're gonna go one. Play you guys up here. I mean, it's really good. Like, we're gonna get really, really... Like, we're gonna get a ton of strikes. So it's... It's good. Uh, let's put you out here. Do a vent. Any type of light. Oh, that's perfect. These are like the perfect ones. Yeah, this is great. Play you as well. Pop you. It's great. Can I get one garbage? But that's fine. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be. He's gonna destroy. Look at that. Okay. Um, yeah, Prismal Dust again. Nothing here. Well, again, we're going to kind of try to keep it like very, very similar to what we did before. Uh, still take extra unit upgrade slots. We went minus one on you. 20 and consume on the plink. We rolled. Minus one on... I think we did cave-in. Plus ten on vent. We don't do the double stack. Still take steel worker. Absolutely fine. And we still take petty theft. So again, we're going to keep it pretty much the same. What we need for diligent is some type of like... Days would be good. Now, if I can get, if I can get a uh, an ascend, like ascend you now. Play this. Get one up front, one in back. Play you and you with one of these. And this all seems fine. So he just gets behind the steel worker and just chills. Okay, get you in the back. And play that. Got it. Okay. Bring you up. Torch. All good stuff. Mm-hmm. 
I think we're going to be fine. We have a lot more going on here than before. A lot more damage. A lot more HP. And we can just give you three damage shield and then we're good. Cool. Yeah, that was it. So just greeting is what got me. We don't need Transcendent. I don't think we need Forever Consumed or Kindle. Just skip. Branded Warrior is interesting. Or Morsel Maker. Do we have... A, we have a merge right away. Yeah, I'm going to take the Morsel Maker. And we're going to go with Draw. We're going to try to Overstack is the idea. Let's go left. Yeah, we go left. That's interesting. But I don't think it's what we want. I'm wondering if we just go Steelworker on Steelworker. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. So we're gonna we're gonna merge certainly the uh, morsel maker onto the alpha fiend, just to make it really strong, and then another multi strike is fantastic. Um, generic stats on steelworker is fine. <laughs> Endless is kind of whatever. We're going to go like this for now. We're probably going to go unit upgrades again. And... I think we're going to go full aggressive edible. Just try to get a ton of stats. What I'd really like is the uh, armor and move a guy to the front. Let's get plus 10 in piercing onto... Ooh, this could be good though. I'm gonna put on petty theft, and then I'm just gonna dump. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna put steelworker on steelworker, and that's gonna be probably the uh, the final thing there. This should be fine. We're gonna be playing mostly on one floor. Okay, so we're going you and you. I mean, we can do this. It doesn't really matter. Okay. So I'm gonna play the Steelworker and move it up. How are we doing? We're crushing. Love to see it. Uh, I like crushing more. Let's put uh, you down here with the whole crew. Uh, we can also play this. Sure. Give you all that. And let's just start bopping this guy. Need to kill that backliner. There's no way to kill the backliner, so we just give damage shield. Nobody else is as scary, so we can go bop. Bop. Hit. And this all seems perfectly fine. Let's go one, two. And we can cave in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go... Like this. Play these guys here. Cave in. And just crush. Look at that. Like, we're not even getting touched. That's really strong. Okay, extra damage. That's great. Uh, void binding, while good, doesn't really fit what we're trying to do here. Engine upgrade's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. 
March of Shields! That's what I want! Now I can put the Steelworkers in the front. This is... Oh, that was perfect. That was like... Yeah, that was exactly what we needed. Do we have another merge? We do right there. Oh, this is, this is going to be great. So now we just need to get more good stuff. Let's give you some extra damage. That's fine. I mean... I don't know what to say. Yeah, that's basically it. It's greed. Oh my, look at this. We got to do the unlock. Yeah, it really is just to save gold for artifacts. It's my greed. It's better to do it along the way. Like, it's just objectively better. I just don't because I'm greedy. <laughs> Not much more to say about it. I shouldn't, but I do. This is a little scary. It's like, do we need gold that much? I don't think we do. Look at this guy, though. He's just like... This is Christmas for him. Bopped. Bopped. This guy's already almost dead. Okay, so we want to go... Steelworker... And Hidden Passage and Tumbra Assault. Is it actually worth it to purge that? Absolutely. Yeah. I don't want it at the end. I don't need that much direct damage. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that so at least, like, he's not getting tons of health back. I mean, maybe we get four kills, but it's not guaranteed. And it's not like the card I'm hoping to have show up every time. Oh, it's not when I want March of Shields. I guess we'll just give it to him for now. It just needs to come around again. It's very important. Torch you. Torch you. Okay. We're good with damage now. The man's got... 93 by 4 damage. So we're good on damage. It's just on everything else. So we're going to go 1, 2, bop. Well, that's awkward. Um, keep this guy alive. Again, we're fine on damage, but now the backliner's got an insane amount of armor. It's not really what you want to see. Uh, let's play this... here. Are we going to be able to get through? 114 by 4. Yeah. Yeah, we're still killing everything, but it's not it's not pretty. We should get this guy out. We really got to get the Steelworker up front. That's very important. But we only have to hit this guy, like, twice. So as long as Steelworker gets up front, we're good. When I think it's guaranteed. Yeah, because we're going to draw six twice, so we're good. I guess I could have tried to kill some things up here, but... No. Okay. March of Shields? Love to see it. Get in there. Get this guy up there, too. Just have a good old time. Smack him. Oh, Plink would have been better. Would have been a slightly more damage. Also, uh, that. Get bopped. Oh man, he almost got bodied on the first hit. Skip. Yeah, another March of Shields is great. Just want armor and then uh, movement. So we're gonna go left path, even though we would, like, spell upgrades would be good here. We want to get rid of train stewards. But more important than that is we need to dupe our Steelworker um, so that we can have... Isn't two Steelworkers just straight up better? And we can get our shards through other means. Because like an extra Steelworker is like whatever, but I can overstack with tons and tons and tons of them. We could spell chain something instead.
like March of Shields. I'm gonna spell chain of March of Shields. I think it's that good. Just getting enough armor to sustain. All right, we have garbage fell. This is not super happy. We're gonna play bottom floor though, and I, I don't know if we're gonna have. This is the question. Is oh wow, that's that's terrible. It's only 40 damage, 60 total. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna play we're gonna play like this. Bop, bop. Twenty is gonna be thirty, one twenty. Yeah, that's how we have to play it. Or else we're gonna get too much crap. So we're gonna go you, you, you. Yeah, 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 that's how we have to play it. Uh, we'll vent up there. So let's just kill these guys. We don't need a plink. There we go. We lose some damage that way. Oh wow, we're gonna get a ton of damage here though. Um that works. Now we gotta think about how we want to do this one. I could go for the plink. Yeah, why not? Got it. Sick. Uh let's give him. Tons of damage shield, some damage, and I guess we just play these up top. Because what we can do now is if we get another Steelworker... If we get another Steelworker, we can play the Steelworker up top, and then ascend him up there, rather than the reverse. Bop you. One to you, one to you. And let's just play this down here. Okay, let's keep it going. So we just need to get our buddy. Oh wow, look at this. Okay, so we go you. Bop. Bring them all down. He gets all the lifesteal. He's going to lose it right away. But for a moment he has it. We're going to play both these guys up here. Get rid of this. I assume we're going to have... The priority draw is a thing. That's also true. But I think we'll be okay. I believe. Now we just need an ascend. Oh wait, or we can just... Oh, maybe is that better? that we might be in good shape here oh yeah look at that crushing cool got him I did. And still more draw. No, let's take more. No, let's take more draw. We have the. Uh... I think we have the setup that we want. We don't need more uh, unit upgrades. We do need more spell upgrades. Yes. Yeah, Trader's Quill is great. Just randomly kill stuff with it. Get rid of the last two train stewards. And we want better plinks. Hold over, you say. Um, you gotta be zero. 
I think we might even. Like, I, I kind of am like. Hold over on the other March of Shields. Seems pretty good. Plus 10 on. I'm gonna do it on the September Assault first. And then let's see what else we get. Double stack? I don't really want to double stack the March of Shields. I want it to be free. So free March of Shields every turn. Plus 10 on a plink. And what do we get here? Um. Kind of like plus 30 on a plink. Seems pretty good. And we go all in on aggressive edible. Spikes is fine. Worst is 20 damage per turn. And we may even kill things before they have a chance to hit us. The only issue is that Primordium could die, but I think he won't because I think Primordi or, uh, Alpha Fiend will get too strong too quickly. Let's just go engine upgrade down here. Into vent. Okay. So play you out. Together with... Oh, they just die right away, don't they? Well, so be it. Die, everything. Um, wouldn't mind killing that guy. Cool. Uh, yeah, you're gonna kill for sure. Oh, but you... There we go. Now, he doesn't die. We can play you. Hidden Passage you. And... Splink. Ember Drain, but I think we're still fine. We can Hidden Passage. One, two, three, pop. This is looking pretty good. This is looking pretty good. So we found a way after those first two just disastrous attempts. Let's just keep doing that. Got him. Is this even lower? I don't even think it lowers the amount. Let's do it down here. Try to prep that floor. Okay. Could give us more time. Why not? Have just an empty turn. We can ascend one of them. Like, we can ascend him now. That seems much better. Um, these guys don't even attack. We can actually just do that. Although Alpha Fiend won't get as strong now. But it's fine. I could have ascended him, but... I think we're good. Yeah, we have so much damage. Cool. Ah. Seems good. Seems good. Uh, battering ram's interesting, but I guess we take it. No, 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 we don't take any of this. I think we're good. We have enough cards. I, th I believe. Now the question is, do we want to get another steel worker? I think that's too many. We need to get Alpha Fiend fairly early. We've gotten very lucky that Alpha Fiend just, just keeps showing up. I can't complain about that at all. Let's make you cheaper. Let's make another 
consuming blink. Permafrost on an ascend seems pretty good. Minus one on... I guess that's fine. I didn't even check the artifacts. Um, this is really good. Oh, that, these are, oh, this is interesting. This would allow me to play on the middle floor. Plus 10 power on another plink. I don't really think there's anything we want to hold over. And what do you got for us? Another spell chain, huh? I don't think there's really anything I want to spell chain particularly. We could do a piercing plink. All right, let's do it. I'm hoping that we have enough spells that we're not going to uh, just lose everything right away. So what I'm thinking is we go like you and you. Do this. Oh, then we can't. Would immediately kill him. All right, we're gonna do it. So we're gonna play steel worker up here. We're gonna do that. Okay. We're gonna take some damage from things. Let's see, are you already consume anything consume already? I guess we could just do cave in and lose it. Big plink. Crap, we're losing everybody. Ah, oh, because we didn't kill the right guy. Oh, let's try that fight again. I needed to think about that. We needed, whoops, we needed to kill the guy first. My mistake. My mistake. But I think we still do it that way. We just have to play that a little bit better. Still do that. Okay, so if we go... If we kill... Yeah, 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 Okay, okay. I got this. We go you here. Cave in. Kill you. Now we're fine. We can even play these guys up top. And still plink. Get you in there as well. And that just looks way better. Okay. And now, as long as we can somehow survive this, oh, we're just crushed in this turn. Um, you're already, all these guys are already plinking. Oh my gosh, we have like all the stuff. We'll get you out. And a plink. That's like a, a is that, do we have a cave in anymore? We don't have a cave anymore. Well, okay, but it's fine. Yeah. 
And I'm gonna wait on the Prismal Dust. And I want to do that. Would make sense to do that. I, I guess we just get rid of the vent. But I kind of hate it. Uh, let's keep the vent. We'll do this. Fulfills the same purpose as the vent. And we do that. And I'm hoping that we're going to be good. I mean, the man's doing, like, a lot of damage. He's He's kind of crushing it. Do that. Bring you to the front. We can bop you. I don't really want to send one of them up. This is all fine. We can torch. And then we can do prismal. Uh, two more. 251. So we're doing a thousand damage. Like, I think we're good. I think we're in a good spot. We can kill you. We can actually just move this out of the way. To get more damage onto Seraph. And we should be, we should be fine now. Yeah, we're crushing. Just get one more hit out of the way. We can even move him out of the way. Yeah, look at that. Cool. And now I think we play on the middle floor. I think we play on the middle floor. And then we should be fine. So I think we go... Uh, Primordium will just die. Do the same thing. We should not play Primordium for a minute. Add him in later. Because no matter where we put him, he just dies. We have no way to protect him. Our buddy here is going to die. This is prob this is a this is actually a really big problem. But if I just put a bunch of things in front. Does he still die? He doesn't die.
Okay. Then... I really think we got a plank here. Yeah, that just helps a lot. We'll just get these guys out. Okay. Um, bring everybody down seems pretty bad. Maybe that's what we have to do. Play you out. Oh my gosh, everything's dying. If I bring them all down and bring you to the front, can you absorb all the damage? It's 1160, it's not even that much damage. It seems a lot better. Still kind of sketch. But that's what we're going to go with. If by some miracle we can actually kill this floor with our pyre, everything will be fine. I should have done that here. Uh, the problem is, is that they're going to gain. we got to move you up by yourself. And the spikes, I think. One hit will kill him. And then he'll die pretty quickly. Okay. Hmm. May have to just try to put lots of damage onto you. Okay, 34 helps. I mean, I think we're killing that floor, but I don't know how much health we have at the end. Oh, we don't. We lose. We got we got pretty far though, but that last draw was like pretty horrendous. Maybe it would have been better to just have the um, single steelworker. Might have been a better setup. Let's see how the others did it. So this is Gabriel's attempt. He did it with morsel maker onto. He had three alpha fiends. I mean, that's certainly a way to do it with Frenzy Stone. He also went full. Uh, aggressive Edible. I mean, all this looks pretty similar, although he took uh, Heaven's Gold, which ended up actually Heaven's Gold would have been really useful for us, but I think it's fine. He died to Divinity. Yeah, he has no way to keep uh, Primordium alive, is the problem. Or just in general, to keep them alive. Even with their high health, they still just die. Okay. Let's check uh, Sato. Also had a lot of Alpha Fiends with steel workers and that might have been the play maybe we should have done that instead and then just duped it a bunch i wasn't convinced of that but i mean obviously it worked here 
Also took an endless fledgling imp, which is interesting. I don't know how you would fit it. Important work, Kindle, I don't know. This is really interesting. But obviously did really well. He cleared everything. Took some of the same upgrades that we did, not all of the same one. Well, I guess pretty close. Okay. And then a heart. Interesting. Transcendent build. Just to get Ember? And then what? Like, what's your... How do you dump your Ember? Multi-striking morsel makers with alpha fiends. That's definitely a way to do it. Seems bizarre, but... Seems like it somehow worked, I guess. I don't know. You cave in extra morsels, but you would have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You'd have seven more or seven units on the floor. Again, it obviously worked, so I don't know. But I, I don't know the Transcendent. I don't know why Transcendent is in there. Even with Fledgling Imp. I guess it scales itself over time. Right, I am beat. I wish I could play another run, but I, I really can't. So we're going to end here. Um, I've got to wake up super early tomorrow. And then, uh, but on the weekend, we can do a little bit longer streams. So with that, this is, uh, again, shorter stream. Apologize. We'll get back to some longer streams once I'm finally settled in my, in my uh, house house. But we'll try to do some this weekend as well. So the name of the day has been Barnabas. You can also call me Nate. You can call me Nathan. Please never call me Nathaniel. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, attempt at this very difficult seed.